again, we've said it before that phase diagrams are calculated at equilibrium, but we can reach non-equilibrium. In, so, in fact, sometimes non-equilibrium states are really important. Consider this one. This is the phase diagram for yttria-doped uh, zirconia, right? So on the left-hand side, you've got zirconia. Over here, you've got Z. R O two. If you've ever heard about people talking about like cubic zirconia rings, this is the same zirconia they're talking about. So ZRO2 is over here. And as you introduce more and more yttria, the phase diagram looks like follows. So up top you've got your liquid phase, so you can melt zirconia. It is extremely refractory, very high melting point, almost like 2700 or so, 2700 Celsius. So that's extremely hot. Um, but the low temperature phase is what's called monoclinic. It's monoclinic zirconia. There exists a temperature around 1200 degrees where it transforms to tetragonal, if you're pure zirconia, and then get high enough around 2400 and you get the cubic zirconia that, that looks kind of like diamond. Now, something happens. You can introduce yttria, right? And as you introduce yttria, let's say that you end up in this region right here, the T plus F region. So F stands for the cubic, it stands for fluorite. It's a cubic phase plus your tetragonal phase. We'll talk about what those mean later. Just there are two different ways of arranging the atoms. And in this region, in this whole region right here, you've got a mixture of those two phases. Well, what can happen is that if you put it in this region where there's a mixture of T plus F, and then you cool it down, thermodynamics tells us that it wants to turn into M plus F, right? Because now you've got M over here and you've got the F phase over here. So it should be a mixture of M plus F. But in reality, this doesn't happen because it's at a low temperature. So it's, it's, a, it's a metastable phase. What you end up with is T plus F, but it, what it wants to be is M plus F. And what's interesting about this is that there's a phase change, right? The volume of the M phase is larger than the volume of the T phase, okay? And so what happens is that in these ceramics, when a little crack occurs, right, you've got your ceramic, right, and a little crack occurs, and you have this mixture of T plus F everywhere. In the vicinity of the crack tip, so right here around the crack tip, you have T, you have the tetragonal phase that converts to the monoclinic phase. Here you have tetragonal turning into monoclinic, and what's crazy is because as a larger volume in the monoclinic phase, it puts a closing pressure on this crack. It expands to sort of fill this crack. How crazy is that? And so when you see ceramic knives and things like that with like the white blade, it's almost certainly um, transformation toughened zirconia. It's zirconia where they've added a little bit of zirconia or yttria so that you end up in this T plus F region. And then when the crack would normally start to grow and propagate, instead your T turns into F, right? And it puts a closing pressure on that crack. And so you end up with a ceramic that relative to other ceramics is way, way tougher. Uh, really high toughness compared to other ceramics, which is really cool. So we will talk a lot more about transformation toughened ceramics because they do some other really cool things. But that's an example of a non-equilibrium, right? This is non-equilibrium because equilibrium says you should be in this phase, but in practice, you can get it to stay in this metastable phase until something like a crack comes along and gives it a reason to switch to the other phase.